Minecraft SMP content has to be one of the most laziest, drawn out, unoriginal pieces of content I've ever seen, and I make SMP content. But what sets me apart is three main factors. Most SMP creators want to follow trends instead of innovate, most SMP creators fake their entire video or parts of it, and most SMP creators are bad people who will do anything to come on top. These creators don't want you to talk about this though. I have, and they went after my sponsor. I was invited to the Infuse SMP, September 9th, 2023, and after questioning them about the validity of their videos, I was kicked out of the SMP. About a week ago, I publicly addressed this and called out Infuse for using X-Ray without telling their viewers. My attempt to tell people about Infuse gained lots of backlash, but it's because people missed the point. William Urie is the co-founder of Harvard's program on negotiation. He says that when listening, you need to stop listening directly to the words that are being said, but listen to what the words mean. All I wanted to do was criticize Infuse SMP for not admitting to X-Raying, and people just defended the fact that X-Raying isn't that big of a deal. The Infuse SMP is a blatant content farm, and it's just the skibbity toilet of Minecraft content in general. All I'm trying to do is ask them to improve, but besides that, there's a lot of people who genuinely don't like the fact that X-Ray is used. They feel lied to because the Infuse SMP refuses to mention anywhere that X-Ray isn't allowed. I personally don't care if you X-Ray, but I do care if you use it without admitting it. I keep getting told that it doesn't affect me, but it does. Funnily enough, when you die in your videos, it doesn't feel super impactful to me because I'm so used to seeing deaths in SMPs and thinking, meh, they'll just get that back in two minutes. Which is only true in most SMPs where you can feel that the progression is cheated. Their type of videos are literally staining the community because you can't tell what's real and what isn't. Some viewers think my content is scripted. So yes, altering your gameplay externally without telling your audience does affect me. By blurring the lines between real and fake content, Infuse is actively discouraging creators from making real content because what they do works. Infuse knows that if they disclose everywhere that the progression's cheated or they spend the time to play legit, then they just won't get paid as much. Another issue plaguing SMP content is who's behind it. Content is only this garbage because you have groups of people who all want to form SMPs and communities just to grow. This is normally a positive thing, but again, when all they want to do is grow, they care more about that than making quality content, and lots of issues arise. If there's a bad apple in the group, it ruins the bunch, so people will try their best to hide this. Take Sharkills for example, he's an Infuse member who used to dox people back in 2021. Sharkills hasn't publicly claimed responsibility or showed any remorse for his actions, only stating, I was 13. Dude, 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 13 year old me was a menace dog. Sharkills is 15 now, but his age doesn't absolve him of the responsibility of his actions. If he really did mature, he would publicly admit what he did was wrong, but instead he tries to hide it by closing his Discord. Normally, this wouldn't be an issue for Sharkills, but the other members of the SMP actively try and help him cover this up instead of helping him admit it was wrong to do. It just becomes a toxic environment when you have a huge group of people trying to cover up all these controversies and make sure that the public doesn't find out. I'm not bringing this up to cancel anyone. This video will probably just get 1 to 2,000 views, but I want to hold them responsibility for their actions and the actions of others within their group, whether this is lying by omission about X-Ray or covering up their pasts. See, I've also only talked about Infuse because they're the only people I've had time to actually investigate. But because I've investigated Infuse, other creators have tried to bug me. They're all actively scared that I'm going to document them. Like I randomly got asked to VC with some strength SMP members, including their owner. They wanted to chill in VC, and I knew this was a lie because I denied their invite to their server for making lazy content. But the fact that they wanted to talk to me after all this really shows I'm getting somewhere. None of these creators want to stop spitting out slop to their viewers. This is why on November 18th, 2023, I was informed by my one sponsor, Feather Client, that they've been sent anonymous reports regarding my activity on Twitter and reports stating that I've been blacklisted from creator SMPs. To my knowledge, this blacklist isn't public and it can only be seen by creators. I've made an entire $13 from all my YouTube videos. My primary source of income is Feather and there are creators trying to take that away. All I'm asking you to do is take a step off me and work on yourselves. That's all I want, just improve. If nobody publicly calls you out, then you're gonna keep making the slop that you keep making. Keep doing the disgusting things that you are doing. Work on yourselves, please. Just become better people. It really isn't that hard, I promise. Focus less on the numbers and focus more on the community that you're in.